How do you reconcile in your mind the two conflicting images of Jesus that are juxtaposed in the Gospel accounts of A, Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, the meek and gentle Savior King, and B, Jesus' cleansing of the temple, the fiery prophet angered at what he finds in the sacred courts? Both the events of the temple and the triumphal entry mutually reveal a cohesive portrait of Jesus Christ. Many tend to embrace the meek and gentle Savior over against the eschatological prophet who pronounces judgment over the wicked. The enigma surrounding the character of Jesus has long vexed theologians of various eras. How can the inclusive, compassionate, and merciful Jesus ever offend, judge, and rebuke? These questions reveal a false dichotomy within our categorical approach to the personhood of Christ. The issue regarding the two seemingly opposite portraits of Jesus Christ precede the gospel literature and are found in a misperception of the Old Testament itself. Historically, Protestant evangelicals have read selectively through the Gospels and misconstrued Jesus by superimposing their own categories into the text instead of receiving the thoroughly Jewish foundation the scriptures present to us. The Old Testament is not only a code of law, predictive prophecies, or a book full of types and shadows. These anachronistic understandings of the Old Testament fall short of the intended purpose and meaning of Israel's scriptures. The Old Testament, or the Torah, tells us the story of the good, sovereign creator God, who fashioned human beings in his own image for the sake of priestly communion and earthly rule. The archetypal humans, Adam and Eve, forsook the priestly communion, which God had ordained as a form of flourishing, for their own forms of illusory freedom. Yet this was not the case. Humans had become enslaved. Yet God in his mercy chose Abraham and his descendants to reverse the curse that had plagued humanity. Unfortunately, the children of Abraham also found themselves subject to the same cycles of sin and death. Humans continued to systematically oppress themselves and the world with this disease. The Gospels present to us the solution and fulfillment of this unfinished story. The gracious God of Israel condescends in the person of Jesus Christ to deal with sin and death personally. Humanity had placed itself under the curse of sin. This was a curse God had to judge to su successfully rescue his creation from futility and decay. The paradox lies in the death of Jesus Christ, because in it God both judges and saves contemporaneously. The heinousness, severity, and depravity of man are laid upon Jesus on the cross at Calvary. Within his humanity he subsumes it, and in his divinity he exhausts the penalty of sin. There cannot be competing portraits in the crucifixion. Jesus is both a slaughtered lamb an exalted king at once. With this backdrop, both the triumphal entry and cleansing of the temple scenarios make the sense they should. Jesus is the restorer and deliverer seeking to bring about the kingdom of God in the face of Israel's leaders and temple occult. Jesus as the meek and gentle king judges sin represented in Israel's leadership and corrupt temple system for the purpose of the inauguration of the kingdom. God enacts salvation through judgment in Jesus Christ, he judges the old wineskins of Judaism for the sake of the new age.